Alright everybody, welcome back to Resident Evil Village. Today we're going to try to make our way out of the castle, but for now we're starting off in this room because, you guessed it, you actually can blow open this wall just like I thought. So we'll start off with a, I don't know, I don't know, I'm, I'm afraid to like mess this up, <laughs> honestly. We'll, we'll start off with a hearty frag out. And the wall blows open. And beyond this, I don't know what really happens here. I assume that you just kind of have to... Maybe push this into the fire to get it lit. I only I only blew the wall open, and that was about it. Anything back here? Handgun ammo, cool. Blew a box open. We got a crystal fragment, nice. Some decent stuff back there. But yeah, I, I only blew the wall open just to make sure that you you could indeed blow it open. And just like I thought, I probably have to get like both of these swinging at the same time. Oh, never mind. Now this is down, we get probably a, I think there's a fake mask. That's, that's my assumption. No, it looks like there's like a, an Azure Eye is in here. I'm not sure if this is just for treasure. So that's kind of like, hmm, I'm gonna have to figure out how to get that mask then. Cause I imagine that this might just, is it a key item? Maybe, hold on. Let's look for some stuff here. We have this. It's combinable. We can probably just combine it into the silver ring. Yeah. Oh, it tells you. Could probably combine this to complete the ring. So they just kind of like tell you what it goes into. Ooh, repairer. Combine a treasure into its complete form. So we can probably just sell this then since it says it's it's its complete form. Or is it a key item? Oh, this mounted skull is it? Oh, I can probably put this in the... Uh, in the thing. What is this? I thought this was a treasure. No, this is the fake mask. Okay. So this is used for that. Okay. I thought I had to come down here and get a fake mask. This was just for a treasure. Which is great. This uh, this actually works out. So not only do I know what to do. I think at least. Uh, I also have a treasure that I can sell. So. All in all a fine day's work. Alright, that's it for me everybody. Thanks for tuning in to this two minute episode. I'm sure everyone would love that, right? I don't think so. We'll we'll continue we'll continue on. So I should probably sell the ring. Can I like can I examine it? Does it say anything about the ring? A silver ring with an Azure Eye gemstone. Very valuable. We can just kind of look at it. It's pretty nice looking. Not bad. I don't know if I'd want to want to wear it. I'm not I'm not much of a jewelry kind of guy. No, I'm not big on jewelry. So we got to go back to... I mean, we can go back to the merchant's room, maybe. Other than that, I do need to go upstairs to... To slot this fake animal mask in it. This music's pretty tense. I'm sure Lady Domitresque is somewhere around here. She's usually stomping around this kind of main room here. And since I'm sprinting around, she probably hears me. She probably has big ears, and she can probably hear pretty well, if I had to guess. I don't know. I mean, she is pretty... She's probably pretty old, right? Because they... They're, they're definitely... They, like, don't age for whatever reason. They're definitely, like, pretty old, though. We did find some diaries from, like, the 50s. So, I don't I don't know how old she is, but if I had to wager, maybe she... Maybe her hearing's a little... Not Shall great. I choose something for you? She has been around a little bit, so who Please knows. do take a look at my new stock. So we've got crystal fragments. I don't know if I want to really keep those. We got the torso. We have this, which is 12k, which is really nice. I should probably look for another lockpick. I never went and found another lockpick. I keep forgetting I have this. I'll just go ahead and sell all this stuff. We get a cool 21k, which is actually more than I have total on me. Let me make sure I'm not selling anything important. I probably am, but, you know, let me... Let me double check that I'm screwing myself over. So we got the crystal fragments, the torso, the eye ring. Looking good. And buy we'll it trade it for it. some sh money. I should probably... I don't really know what I would buy. I could buy some shotgun shells, but that's really like... Uh, that's probably the least of my concerns right now. It probably would be good for a boss fight coming up, though. I'm assuming we have to fight Lady Domitresque at some point. I don't know why we would just continue to let her stomp around her castle. 
So we do have to escape. I can upgrade the pistol. I'd probably want ammo capacity for the pistol. That would probably be good. It's only 4K anyway, so... These hands are more dexterous than one might think. We'll go ahead and upgrade that. Rate of fire probably would be decent, but I'm not really looking to shoot quick because I end up missing more bullets that way. Haven't really been using the sniper rifle a ton. I wonder if am if upgrading ammo capacity is kind of like similar to some of the old games where if you have like zero ammo in your gun, but you upgrade the ammo capacity, it kind of gives you like a full mag. How much ammo do I got in this? Thank you for your Two. Patronage. Maybe I'll upgrade that and see if that's how that works. How much does that even cost? 7k? I mean, I have enough to spare, right? I'll go ahead and upgrade it just this to see. Modification can be done in just a moment. Can't really upgrade power. Reload speed for the shotgun could be good. Ammo could, you know, I'm gonna get both of these. Mm -hmm. What? Ah, oh, it's fine, all finished. <laughs> what? Ah, oh, it's fine, don't worry. I just fucked up your gun completely. I might hang on to the rest of this money. I might buy these shotgun shells. How many does he have? Five? He's got five, five K. I mean, you know, that's probably going to be good for like any fights coming up. I might do this. I think, I think I'm going to hang on to this for now, actually. This is all an investment. Till oh yeah, it did give me more ammo. So the best thing to do is to wait until you have like no ammo in your gun, then upgrade the capacity. And then you kind of get some free ammo out of it. We'll go ahead and save again. Why not? So now I need to get back upstairs and I need to slot this animal skull into the place where we get the mask. And then we can move on from there. The treasure map is relatively useless now. Pretty sure it just leads us to the azure eye that I got. Of course, Lady Domitresque is right outside, so we'll, we'll wait for her to saunter on by. We get real low to the ground. Why can't I open the door? There we go. Get real low to the ground and hope she can't <laughs> she can't see me. I'm too sure. I think she went that way. Where'd she go? Whatever. I'm sprinting. Forget it. Let's go get this mask and then we can move on into a new area that we've never been to, which would be pretty exciting. Wouldn't be surprised if it was a boss room. But we'll see. Today, shirt status is on. Most of the time, I would say, the, the vast majority of the time, my shirt is indeed on. I don't even know why I mentioned that in part one. Okay. I should be able to get out with these. Not even sure why I mentioned it in part one. Probably just because A, it was like, it's pretty rare for me to to be shirtless anyway, let alone recording. But B, I also, like, I started off wearing a shirt, right? And then once the intro was kind of done, I was like, man, it's hot in here. So I just, like, took off my shirt during the opening cutscene and decided to let everyone know. And that's just kind of, like, a running joke. Sometimes, like, the silliest, most random stuff will just become, like, a running joke for no reason. Should I save again? You know, this might mess up, like, if... Oh, there's Domitresque over there. This might mess up, like, a ranking if they do give you rankings based on the amount of times you save. I might be screwing myself over pretty hard here. But, like, I'm not too concerned about that for a first playthrough. If I really wanted to improve my ranking, I would probably just, you know, go through the game again. I, I don't really think a first playthrough where I don't know what's going on is really the pinnacle of getting a rank. But we'll, uh, we'll see. I was also kind of throwing around the idea of maybe trying to go through... Oh, come on, just leave. Trying to, trying to go through the game on hardcore, do like a second playthrough on hardcore. I would say probably like a vanilla playthrough without like I'm I'm assuming there's a new game plus, so I, I would maybe want to go through it on like a vanilla hardcore playthrough so that way it's a little bit more difficult. Not sure if people would really care one way or the other. People might just be like ah do whatever you want, but I don't know. Just it's just an idea that I tossed around a little bit. So if you've got any uh, if you got any input on that. If you've got any input on that statement, then I would love to hear it, but no promises, unfortunately. No promises. I'm not really sure what's going on here in the coming few in the coming future. I do have to finish up um what is it? Bowser's Fury and Sekiro. Eventually I do have to finish those up. But I'm pretty close well, not pretty close. I mean I'm I'm relatively close to finishing both of them up, I would say. 
I feel like they're definitely prepping me for a boss fight here. Bunch of healing items, a little bit of ammo. But we'll see. I also did want to play through possibly Ratchet and Clank 2016. Because it's somewhat short. And I did want to play Rift Apart when it comes out in like, what, early to mid-June? So I did want to have a little bit of prep for that, because I'm not really uh, I'm not really a big Ratchet and Clank guy. Never never really got into it. It's not like I dislike the game, but I never really was able to get into it. So we'll see how everything kind of falls into place, you know. It's, re it's really up in the air a little bit. We've got a ceremonial dagger of some sort. Never mind, it's getting taken. Ooh, stabbed her right back. Oh no, my dagger. I just got that. Oh, come on. Okay, she can fly. That's kind of terrifying. And by terrifying, I mean extreme. What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh my god. Well, this escalated very quickly. Escalation level high right now. This is gonna be a nightmare to fight, isn't it? Oh my god, dude. Looks like the outside matches your inside. I kind of feel like I have to get like by her. Maybe I should shoot her actually. Oh no. Oh come on. I probably should have shot like the body instead of the mouth. It's fine, we'll we'll run away. Ooh, a bunch of supplies here. Ton of sniper ammo? Holy shit. They must really want me to snipe here. <laughs> this is going to be terrible. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. Oh. I'm just going to run. There's probably, like, more supplies around here. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, she's breaking shit down, dude. I'm afraid to get hit by rocks. I'm pretty afraid. Oh, she's gonna crush us. Hell yeah. Maybe I should let her. Maybe I should just let her do it. Oh yeah, you definitely have to shoot her, like, little body up there. Oh god. Very big, but she moves kind of quick, you know? There we go, there's one. Oh, she's coming back though, hold on. Might as well reload, I shot one bullet, let's reload. I think I missed that one. Took her a little bit to turn around. Oh yeah, dude. She's running again. Hey, every bullet we reload. That's what everyone likes to see, right? Okay, I was, uh, we don't talk about that shot. Oh, God, we don't talk about that shot at all. That is not going on the high level reel. Oh, did I shoot the wing? Damn it. So far, it's just kind of like a cat and mouse kind of thing. You just, you run away a little bit. You try to get a, try to get a little pot shot off. I really don't want to... Oh, maybe I should try to... Okay, so far... Hey, this is going a little better than I thought it would go so far. wonder if I can pipe bomb her. I don't know. Yeah, just sit here. Okay, I missed that one. Oh, shit. 
Man, if I knew the sniper was gonna be like so important here, I probably would have upgraded it a little bit more. Running, running out of, running out of ammo a little bit. Uh oh. Hey, we hit it like a cutscene though. That or I'm dead. I'm just gonna run to the top. Let's let's go to the top. How about it? Can I pick this up? One more. There we go. I thought they were gonna give me like more uh, more sniper. Oh shit. Uh oh. Oh, come on. How, many, how much health does she have? Good gosh, she's finally dead? Jesus. Dude, just walk up and blast her in the face again, please. Put her down for good. Oh, no, she's out of here. Well, I gotta say, pretty, pretty intense boss fight. The sniping went a lot better than I thought it would for me. Hey, what was it? Crystal Domitresk. That sucked. <laughs> Defeat the mutated Domitresk. Yeah, that that did that did kind of suck. We got a nice crystallized version of her. I'm sure that'll be uh, that'll be worth a lot to the old merchant. Well, at least we don't have to worry about her stomping around the castle anymore. She's out of here. What do we got in here? We got whatever this is. Like I'm getting out of this place. We got a dirty flask. It's apparently very dirty. Uh, what is this thing? I have so much pistol ammo now. Holy shit. Yeah, I have a ton of ammo for at least the pistol. They really gave you a lot of ammo there. What is this dirty flask? Can I do anything with this? Maybe, maybe not yet. You probably just have to like put it into something. What does it say? A glass container with a flower and sword's crest. It's too dirty to see inside. All right, so we got to find some soap and water, and we got to clean this bad boy up. So, Gross. if we if we can find a little bit of little bit of soap and water, we'll be good to go. Where are we at on the map? I have oh we I don't think we've been here at all yet. I guess we'll see once I make my way out of here. We got a typewriter here. Interesting. You know what? I am going to save because we are done with that boss fight. Very intense boss fight. Very intense. Empty cupboard. Very nice. Close that, I guess. That was useless. I finished that item that was requested. Please deliver it to the house with the red chimney. Go through the caves to the ruins, then down into the village. Okay, I'm sure that's important, but I'll forget about it. And already forgotten about it. Nice. Right on time. Ooh, some rusted scrap. Nice. Let me make sure I'm all reloaded up here. Solid amount of shotgun ammo. Very good amount of pistol ammo. We have an outhouse. Anything in here? 
Gunpowder, of course. I always keep my gunpowder in the outhouse. Who doesn't? <laughs> if you're not keeping your gunpowder in your outhouse, then you just ain't living, brother. I don't think we can really do anything with this. Yeah, we still need a crank. I doubt any of these keys will work. Nope. How about, how about the family photo? 30th time I've made that joke. It gets a little bit less funny every time, but... It's, it's a classic, I would say. It's definitely a classic at this point. I've shoved it down everyone's throats enough that it has to be a classic. I don't know what else we got around here. Yeah, there's a well back here, so I should probably remember the well. My memory is not the best, though, so... Once again, I've already forgotten its existence. We'll leave the house. And we'll see what else we got. Need some sort of key or bolt cutters for that. That's where we came from. There's a bridge here. Oh, come on. I think I can shoot anything here. I think I can, like, shoot this stuff. I don't think so. I, was, I got a little caught up in this area. I thought I might need to do something with that bridge or the, the well. Maybe there was something I was missing. But all you got to do is look for the little yellow lock and shoot that open. So I got I got caught up on the bridge. I'm like, man, do I have to, like, shoot the bridge down or something? It's probably just a shortcut back into the area. But now that I've got that all figured out, we can move on ahead. Oh, there's fish in here? Oh, you can totally kill these fish, right? Do I still have a knife on me? I could probably knife them. Let's knife these fish. Yeah, there we go. I get fish. It's probably a healing item if I had to guess. I feel like I feel like there's fish in other games. Like there were like eggs you could eat in Resident Evil 4, I think, and possibly fish in like a, a different game. What does this fish do? Ingredient gathered from fish. Meat gathered from fish of this region. Common ingredient cannot be eaten as is. Alright, so I guess we can like make that into something at some point. Doesn't really seem like it's a crafting item. I don't know. I guess I'll hang on to it. Maybe I can sell it or something. The hell's going on in here? As the midnight moon rises on black wings, we await the light at the end. In life. And in death, glory to Mother Miranda. Hey, remember me? I almost died of that castle. Tell me, what is going on around here? How can a man be almost dead? That's a question for the wise. You know what I mean. And I still haven't found Rose. Where did Mother Miranda take her? <laughs> You're too late! Or maybe... Almost too late. Oh, she got us. The child will be <laughs> sacrificed. Life for life. What kind of sick medieval shit is this? She's just a baby. The crests of the four bloodlines may open the path you seek. Will you please stop talking in riddles? I just want to find my daughter. It's only a riddle if you don't know the answer. <laughs> ah, thanks for the help. <laughs> Wait a second. That looks familiar. Hey, hey, wait. Can I open this? No, we're, she locked us in here. Okay, great. So we've got uh we got a nice key in here that she closed up. We got the, we'll get the winged key, the winged key. We've got Man, I don't even want to try to pronounce any of this stuff. This is going to be this is going to be a mess. House Domitresk. House Moro. House Heisenberg. And also House Beneviento. I have no clue. I probably said I probably got Heisenberg right. That was the only thing. Also, look at this symbol. Hmm, that looks really familiar, huh? I wonder what that could be. That kind of looks like the Umbrella Corporation logo. Hmm. Wonder why that's here. That's pretty interesting. Well, we got the top. Another Umbrella-looking logo. That that does look like the Umbrella logo to me. Maybe I'm just looking into that a little bit too much, but that does look kind of familiar if i were to say so we should have one of the crests already right we should have the uh the domitresque crest the doma crest if you will we should have that we do have a winged key which i'm assuming opens that 
You unlocked it. I guess these keys don't really disappear. I don't know if I need these for like. I know I need this iron insignia key, but maybe I also need this key as well for later. A key decorated with a bird. It, its wings unfurled. I don't think we can really do a whole lot with this. So we need four crests to continue. We have one. We still need three. I'm assuming. Uh, we got an umbrella logo. I think we're done in this room. Yep. So we can continue on. Oh, man. One of these things. Am I going to get my hand chopped off again? I'm kind of worried to pull these now. <laughs> After I got my hand cut off the, like, one time. We're at the ceremony side. This is probably where I have to put the crest in, right? Another umbrella-looking logo here. This pattern looks really familiar. It does. It does look very familiar. I don't think I can do anything with this right now. I'm sure we have to find, like, a specific item to do something with this. I have no clue what it would be. Can't use the dirty flask on it either. So we'll probably have to come back to this a little bit later. Unless I actually have to do something here, but... Seems we can kind of move on. I was hoping I would be able to go back into the castle to explore a little bit, because I know there are some rooms in there that were still red. Because I didn't quite find everything. But unfortunately, it just kind of booted me out after that boss fight. Maybe I can go back later if I want. Ooh, sniper rifle ammo? Cool. I did use a lot of sniper rifle ammo on that fight. I mean, they did give me, like, what, 15 bullets or something? They did give me quite a lot. I kind of feel like that guy's going to come to life. Oh, there's a lot of arrows here. Someone's shooting arrows. Yeah, who's that right there? Who's that asshole? Who's this guy? Pop him in the head one time. Oh, there's more than one asshole here. Try to pop him from afar. They are pretty quick, though. Yeah, these are the enemies from kind of the beginning of the game that were uh, a little bit annoying to fight since they're a little fast and very tanky. I guess, I guess at least these enemies, we can head pop them. Chem fluid. What was the other thing I picked up? Gunpowder, maybe. So now we're back to these enemies. Man, I like the other enemies. The other enemies were kind of like... They were like nice and slow. I was able to just take my time with them. There's an enemy... Oh, there's an enemy right there. I don't, I don't know if he can even get to me from there. Oh, he's climbing. He's climbing. He can... De oh, he's here. Headshots probably preferred, but... There we go. Yeah, dude, you can pop these guys' heads pretty regularly. Unfortunately, uh, I do need to get headshots, which... <laughs> easier said than done. Easier said than done, for sure. Man, this area looks kind of... kind of big. Really nothing in here. It's just like a little room. Oh, come on. I want items. I'm greedy for items. I probably need a crank for this too of some sort. I don't know. I don't know what I need for this, but I I really d let's use the dirty flask. Okay. I think we're just gonna have to come back here later. Seems like we probably have to get in that boat and then I don't know where we're going, but we probably have to get in the boat and go somewhere a little bit later. We'll pull out the shotgun. Who wants shotgun rain? You want the shotgun rain? Eat that shotgun rain, baby. Served up hot and fresh just for you. Give me my scrap. What else we got in here? Anyone else wants it? It's pretty dark in here, actually. <laughs> Who else wants that shoddy boom body? Who wants it? I guess nobody. Nobody else wants it. They saw what happened to the one guy who took it, and they're like, no thank you. I don't want any of that. I'm guessing these all kind of loop together, maybe. Yeah, it seems like we just popped out over there. I wish I had a map of this area. I rely pretty heavily on the map, I would say. Even when I do have a map, I just open it constantly to get, like, a good idea of where I'm going. I wish there was kind of, like, a mini-map, but that doesn't really... 
doesn't really fit Resident Evil right. It would just make things a little more convenient for me. I'm worried that there's just going to be, like, enemies everywhere. This looks like I'm going to have to, like, hold out here or something. I don't really like the holdout sections, especially against fast enemies. We're at the altar. Good old altar. Oh, we're getting a cutscene. Uh oh. There you oh, the merchant. Are. I had it's the a merchant. Feeling you would pop up here. It was all worthless. Is that so? I assume you've picked up something of value. Not sure if it's a value, but why you have your daughter right in your own hands? What are you saying? Take a closer look. Does he have soap and water for us? Well, that's kind of that messed up. Seems to contain her head. That's super fucked up. <laughs> what? No. What? Roses. Don't say another word. This, this is impossible. This just can't be. Your daughter's essence is still intact. Her powers are truly unique. Who, who could even do this? She can be saved, you know. Saved? From this? Are you insane? There's a house with a red chimney on the western side of the village. Go and seek out the man who lives there. Then we can continue our conversation. Quit holding out and get to the damn point. You don't have to trust my words. But do you have any better options? <sighs> Your choice. The customer is always right. After all, he'll pay you if I find out this is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Joker. He's just laughing. I mean, he's been pretty helpful so far. I mean, that doesn't that doesn't mean he'll continue to be helpful, or he doesn't have any sort of like ulterior motives. But so I have no clue, like what. It's decorated with a crest of four wings. Well, I thought the winged key would possibly do this, but it only has two wings, so maybe we need to find a another one. Yeah, I don't know. The merchant's been pretty helpful, and he knows the Resident Evil 4 merchant. Can he really be that bad of a guy if he references the Resident Evil 4 merchant? I mean, let's be real. Obviously, we need a different key here, apparently. Man, there's, it feels like there's so much stuff in it. I probably need to put all the flasks in here if I had to guess. Yep. So we need, we need to find three more. Oh, we get a, we get a cutscene. Oh, it's a little bit of a flashback. What the hell? Seems like they found us after the car accident. Well, they probably caused the, the truck to crash. Oh, we get a nice typewriter here. Will do. Save that up. 